With the 18th pick in the 2013 NBA draft, the Atlanta Hawks select Shane Larkin from the University of Miami. Professional life has, has been like a it's been like a roller coaster, just ups and downs. I mean, it's, it's been a tough, tough road, um, but I've been grateful for every single moment of it. From, I mean, obviously getting drafted is like the highlight, and then two weeks after I get drafted, I break my ankle. So then it's like, dang. Let's see if it happens again, but it's not looking very good here as Shane Larkin had. I came back, I played some, but. The situation there was was a tough situation for a rookie because we were trying to make the playoffs and I hadn't played and it was tough. So it was a learning experience. And then Shane Larkin getting the stroke down. I got traded that summer to a new team. So I had to learn a new coach, new city, new situation, new new system, offensively and defensively. And that year. Uh, <laughs> Didn't go as 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 anybody planned. Grant drives out of shot block. Great. Terrific recovery. Ball goes out of bounds. Still McShilly. Watch right now. Delay and jump. And he has the right away there. And then with the Nets, the next year, I signed a contract with the Nets. I played the best I had played with the opportunity that I was given. Um, I had a good year. I shot the ball well from the field, had career high in points, assists, shooting percentages, three-point percentages, and going into the summer, um, I mean, my agent at the time was telling me, yeah, we're going to get you this, that, and the third, and we'll find you this deal and that deal, and kind of made a bunch of, of false promises. And Larkin, al que destacan como mejor jugador del encuentro, 22 puntos, 6 asistencias, un rebote, dos robos. Then I signed here with my new agent. Uh, I signed with the new agent halfway through the summer, and he kind of told me the situations that it was. And he was saying, there, you can, you can sign on with the NBA team and maybe not play as much and not have the opportunity to keep going and getting better. Or you can go play in Spain in Euroleague and ACB, which is the next best level of competition, and you can continue to become a better player. I was like, I, I love to play basketball, so I'd, I'd rather go play in Spain. I mean, I love Spanish culture, Spanish people, so I live in Miami in the off season, so I, my dad's fluent in Spanish, so it was like so many things that just fit that I felt like this was the right place for me.